I'm Annalise Crockett, the Youth City Council Mayor, and you're watching City Council Highlights. Hi folks, I'm Broken Air City Manager Michael Spurgeon, and welcome to this edition of City Council Highlights. Thanks for joining us. Here's what happened at the May 2nd, 2017 City Council meeting. Prior to the regular meeting, our Youth City Council held a mock City Council meeting. These students ran a full mock City Council meeting, performing the different roles in City leadership. These mock meetings are a great opportunity for our teens and young adults in the community to learn how their local government actually operates. We would like to send a special shout out to the folks in our Development Service Department and Administration for their participation in the mock meeting and a special, special thanks to Council Member Johnny Parks and Vice Mayor Scott Udy who sponsor the Youth City Council on behalf of the entire governing body. At the regular meeting, first off, great news on a general obligation bond project approved by Broken Arrow voters and for drivers in the northeast part of Broken Arrow. We will be connecting 37th Street, also known as 209th, between Omaha and Albany. Currently, there is not a north slash south connection between these roads. This project is scheduled to begin in June and will take about a year to complete. We will definitely keep you advised on traveling conditions as the road is built. During the meeting, we had several presentations and recognitions. The first two were from our Youth City Council. Every year, the Youth City Council comes up with a big idea which can benefit the community. This year's big idea was to make park equipment more accessible. We also recognize the members of the U City Council who went to Washington, D.C. over spring break and participated in National League of Cities programs. It was great to spend time with these young adults and help them learn about how the federal government works. Two members of the city leadership team also updated the City Council on their activities. First, Human Resources Director Jeanette McCormick advised the City Council about a training initiative between the City and Tulsa Technology Center. The partnership calls for TCC to assist the City with training programs in our labor and trade positions which are very vital to the overall City operations. Next, Information Technology Director Stephen Stewart also informed the Council on the structure of the IT department and the role it plays in making sure our operations run smoothly behind the scenes. Steve and his team do a great job of keeping things running. I want to send a shout out to all of them for the outstanding job that they do for our organization. It's baseball season, and with that comes the timeless classic song that always comes to mind, Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Great news, Mayor Craig Thurman just joined 226 mayors across the nation to encourage kids to be more active by playing baseball. This initiative was started by Minor League Baseball, Major League Baseball, and USA Baseball. June through August of this year will be declared Play Ball Summer and Mayor Thurman will host baseball activities throughout the month of August at Indian Springs Sports Complex. We hope that children and adults will take this opportunity to get more active and to reconnect with America's pastime. Finally, Museum Broken Air Director Lori Lewis talked about an exciting exhibit that will be on display at the museum. The Smithsonian exhibit, The Way We Worked, will be open May 19th and be on display until July 7th. This exhibit explores how work became a central element in American culture and traces the changes that impacted the workforce and work environments over the last 150 years. This is a huge honor to host a Smithsonian exhibit, so please take the opportunity to check it out. The Museum Broken Arrow is in the Rose District at Main Street in El Paso. In general council business, we accepted the deed to the former Bever home to build a memorial. The fundraiser, run through the Tulsa Community Fund, received the $50,000 in donations needed to purchase the home from the bank. The property was then donated to the city to build the park at the council meeting. The old home has been demolished and we're getting ready to start the planning work to eventually build the Memorial Park sometime in late 2017, early 2018. Also, a representative from Aldridge and Associates presented an audit report on the city's finances for fiscal year 2016. Every year, the city hires an independent firm to conduct an audit on the city's finances to hold us accountable to taxpayers and make sure our finances are in good order and in compliance with all applicable laws. You can read the audit report at brokenarrowok.gov backslash audit. Exciting news, folks. The city is partnering with AT&T to bring 5G service to Broken Arrow. The first step in this process is updating our right-of-way standards to allow such technology. 
The agreement with AT&T will be up for consideration on May 16th. We will be the first city in the state of Oklahoma to have small cell technology that will allow for faster internet connection on smartphones with those customers that are serviced by AT&T. In Bama, the authority approved improvements to both wastewater treatment plants. The infrastructure in our wastewater treatment plant is 40 to 50 years old and was built without anticipating the kind of population growth we've seen in the past couple of decades. These improvements are badly needed and we'll be continuing to improve both plants so they can serve our entire community for many decades to come. Okay, that's it for what happened at the City Council meeting. I do have several community updates that I'd like to provide at this time. First off, the Rose Festival is this Saturday at the Farmer's Market, 418 South Main Street from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. This event will feature a Rose Show, vendors, entertainment, children's activities, and art and photo contest winners work on display. The Farmer's Market will be open as well from 7 a.m. until noon. Come out and enjoy the roses, folks. Next, the leg of Liberty Park Trail between Elm and Lynn Lane is now open. The entire trail is now accessible to the public. This trail runs alongside the turnpike, so come out for a bike ride, a walk, or just to get some fresh air because it's an awesome asset within our community. I would also like to mention that I've begun the recruitment process to appoint a new Chief of Police. As you may have heard, current Chief of Police David Boggs announced that he will be retiring at the end of August. I plan to find a new Chief of Police within the next four to six months. We are currently negotiating with the firm to help us with the search and we will consider both internal and national candidates for this position. Congratulations to Fire Chief Jeremy Moore for completing the year-long Fire Service Executive Development Institute program. This program allows for fire chiefs to develop their leadership skills and network. Chief Moore was one of 21 people chosen from a group of 120 applicants from the United States and Canada. Congratulations, Jeremy. Keep up the great work. Finally, the new turf at the Nienhaus football fields has been installed. This was a part of the general obligation bonds approved by the voters back in 2014. The new turf is synthetic and will save the city money on maintaining the fields. Can't wait to see the kids playing on this fall. That's a wrap for this edition of City Council Highlights. Thanks for joining us. Our next City Council meeting is going to be on May 16th. Until then, take care and I hope to see you around town. For the full agenda and video of the City Council meeting, go to brokenarrowok.gov. If you have any questions about the items discussed in the video, please call my office at 918-259-8419 or email me at mspurgeon at brokenarrowok.gov.